All right, welcome to the Panther Pad Podcast. We are back again for another week full of information. I am Mike Payne, General of the Original Black Panthers of VA, National General under King Rick. And with me, I have... Lola Truitt. I am a soldier in the Black Panther Party Army. There we go. So, today we got a heavy topic, all right? Mm -hmm. A topic that might just kind of rub people the wrong way or, hey, they, it might be uh, useful. But we want to talk about... Uh, the black family unit and the uh, the way that they seem to be in danger. They say that, um, you know, we don't stay together. They say that the black men and the black women uh, aren't together. They're all seeking outside races. And we want to talk about the importance of uh, our black unit staying together. So yeah. let's kick it off. Um, I kind of want to go from something that they say was a complete myth, but you can still see it. In today's uh, today's um, family structure, yeah. So I want to talk about like where one part of the Willie Lynch program was to put the woman against the man. Exactly, and this, it was deeper than that. It was very deeper than that. It was like putting her in a masculine role mm -hmm. to where she felt that she could dominate the male, and he would never be emasculated by his woman. Once a man has been humiliated in front of like his friends, family, and children, most women are not going to respect him anymore. And that was done to break the black male. Right. And let's go all the way into that uh, situation. You know, we had something during slavery called buck breaking mm -hmm. where they would uh, actually rape the male and, and they'd do it in front of the female, um, you know, just to show her that there's nothing that she can do to save him and he can't even save himself. So how can he yeah. save her? Yeah. They would also rape the female and let the male stand outside and then he gets his wife or his partner back or whatever um, after the master was done. Yeah. Um, so generations and generations, this gets passed down, that women were taking care of children that you know weren't we theirs, theirs and uh, even taking care of the slave master's children. So with all this going on, um, they were taught to be completely independent. Um, and, and, the men, and the men were docile and not, not in the house and you know moving on, doing their own thing. Yeah. So... If you look at this, if this is, comes from grandma to grandma to grandma, down, 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 to mother to the daughter, and it keeps getting passed down in the family unit, and now you get the statement, I can, uh, you know, I'm good without a man. Exactly. It, it becomes a problem, a gigantic problem, and that's what we're here talking about. And sometimes when you look at it and you wonder why the man and the woman bump heads is because you have the female who will feel so independent and so strong that the man can't even come take his place even when he is a man. Then you have a man that sometimes mm -hmm. can't even step up, you know, because he's just he's just too docile and, and too amazing. broken down. So, um, you know, that's a problem. And, and when they get into that relationship, it's like two men. They're just bumping heads. And, uh, you know, there's, there's not a... I'm not saying one role is higher than the other, yeah, but, but just, there's a proper role setting to have a relationship. But just speaking from, you know, experience, mm -hmm. when you are transitioning from being a single mother... Mm. and going into a relationship and you have to be strong mm. so men don't run over you. Men treat you differently when they see that you don't have a covering. They try to punk you. They try to demean you, disrespect you. And then you got to become masculine and show them like you're not going to run over me. And then when you get in a relationship, it's kind of hard for you to start falling back a little bit and allowing a man to be in that role because women get shit done. Black women that are in, we get shit done and it's mm -hmm. taken care of. But you have to give that man at least a chance to step up. But at how least long? give him a chance. Like a oh, day? A day. Because my situation is this. As a black queen. You said a day? I would give, if I, I'm being honest, depending on the situation. Okay. If I've given, if I've told you about a situation. Well, I'm saying in general. Giving them a, a, in general, a time to step up. Okay. So like, I like to get, I like to get stuff out there. I say, hey, look, babe, I got this problem. Either you handle it. Or I'm going to handle it. If I handle it, it's going to be handled. And most of the time, men be like, Hey, baby, look, I'll, I'm going to take care of it. I, I promise. I, I'll take care of it. And then I give them that other minute. Mm. I told you a week ago to handle this. Baby, no, nah, baby, it's okay, babe. It's fine. No, it's not okay. Now I'm going to take care of it. And then it's taken care of. And you didn't give me a chance. I gave you a chance, but you didn't step up, so I have to do it. And I've done a lot of my life, but I'm learning to calm down with that. Well, see, that is the perfect example of... Uh, the woman becomes the man. I have to become the mother and the father to, you know, to run my household. So, uh, <laughs> hey, 
There you go. Uh, I think that's our time for that segment. Yes. Yes? Okay. Yeah. Five minutes. Boom. We're going to the next one. Let's get it. All right. Our next topic, security. Yes. Security is really important for me as a, as a black queen because we do feel left to ourselves. We feel unprotected at times when you see people in public disrespecting you, trying to come after you. There's been situations where you actually have to get into physical altercation with men because you see no one else is going to save you. And you're looking around for that one guy to step up and say, hey, what are you doing? And when you don't see that, you kind of got to step in that role to save yourself and your kids. Right, and that's something that we really want to uh, talk to everybody about is because um, our men, you know, I've, I've seen videos where our women are getting either kicked out of stores, mm -hmm. beaten up in stores. Punched and, in the face. Right, and they're sitting there recording. Like, and, laughing. and laughing like, oh, look at like, they're oh. fighting, nah, whatever. Look, we have to not just protect the women we love, but we have mm -hmm. to protect all of our black women. That's what we should be here for at all times. I know sometimes when I'm uh, walking and it might be out of a store and it's kind of late at night and I see a black woman just, you know, kind of get into her car, mm -hmm. I try to wait. You know, I don't do be creepy with it, but I just kind of, you know what I mean? <laughs> you don't I, get mad. Right, yeah, I, I just want to, you know, I just kind of sit back and make sure she gets to her car safely, yeah. you know. Um, I do the same thing when I see uh, some Muslim women that are dressed in the, you know, uh, traditional garments because I know some people mess with them you know what I mean so mm -hmm. it's just it's just a, a thing when I see women kind of you know in a, in a bad spot I just I sit back and, and you know, I just kind of wait to see if they're going to get to their car and you know mm -hmm. it's going to be okay or whatever but I think that's something that we should do as men at all times because our women are in danger and mm -hmm. nobody's protecting them and uh, as men we have to step up and do that but it comes back to what Malcolm X said mm -hmm. Malcolm X said that the black woman is the most disrespected most unprotected woman in America mm. and in 2020 that rings true mm. and it's really sad that I say that because I just look at the whole situation with the mother that was punched in the mouth at that Asian store mm. Even though, you know, you had men out there protesting against it, you still had women still trying to go in there and get hair because it was like 50% off. So then you have some men be like, well, I try to protect black women, but then they fight you on that when you're trying to protect them. Yeah, I, you know, and that goes back to also the last episode. Yeah. We've got to tell people once we say don't go into them stores after a while, leave it alone. We mean but it. Also, um, like you said, as men, regardless of what, I mean, even if it's a woman we don't, you know, care too much for, we mm -hmm. have to protect her, you know, just because. We have to really start trying to protect one another more. Yeah, and the women, um, you know, a lot of people say that the women need to protect us as well. Um, mm -hmm. You know, they've held us down. I, I, I have to give it to them. They've held us down since day one. They've been the backbone of our communities and, mm -hmm. and with us uh, all the time. But yeah, you know, when, when things are going on and you, you see something happening, it's good for the woman to be able to, you know, calm things down sometimes and say, hey, you know, instead of being, uh, uh, you know, uh, amping it up more than it needs to be, you know, yeah. it, it's good for them to be able to sometimes calm things you're down. Like, feel like mama gets into a, a, you know, South Africa. She led a war to save her husband who was being led away to be exiled by mm. the English. Mm -hmm. She said, if the men will not stand up and fight, then a woman shall rise up and fight and put our men to shame. She did not give up the stool, the golden stool, because she felt that was the soul of her people. Mm. So women, black women, have a warrior spirit in them by nature. Absolutely. We will fight till our last dying breath to keep our loved ones safe. You don't mess with our men or our children. We will destroy you. Mm. I like that. And look, that is about our time for that little segment. So we're going to go on to the next one. So now we're talking about unity and the importance of our family structure staying together and two black individuals uh, dating each other and, and staying together as a family unit, right? Yeah, but that's something that we have to really start talking about, especially with our children growing mm -hmm. up. We don't really see intact family structures being modeled for us, even in our television anymore. You know, it's like we don't really get to see what it's like to have a healthy relationship where a man is protecting and loving a woman and a woman's respecting and loving her man. 
Mm. Every narrative out there is always negative or derogative about how black women and men interact with one another. Yep. Some of us have lived in our homes where it was a battle zone. Mm. You seen your mother curse your father out, your father would you know, leave the house crying. And because we can relate to that, that's, mm -hmm. the, that's the projection they always put out. And the thing I don't like is when it is a positive image or anything like that, or just a normal film or movie, TV show, whatever, mm -hmm. it's always uh, a mixed race couple yeah. and, and different things like that. Like it can't just be a normal movie with two black people together. That's starting to irritate me, you know, but that's also where we spoke before about uh, telling our own narrative and explaining our own stories ourselves, exactly. because then we can make those things happen. But uh, yeah, we, re we really need to get into that as far as uh, uh, the black couple staying together, as far as um, what the government even has done to separate us. Oh, yeah. You know, that that's a big deal, too, with uh, Cointelpro and uh, welfare reform, welfare reform and, and feminist ones. party. Yep. Absolutely. We came into our communities and start telling us that we could be strong, independent women on our own, and we did not need no support of the man, which was the biggest lie. They hoodwinked us. Yeah, their problems weren't our problems. <laughs> yeah. And the things they were going through, we had no issue with. So, um, you know, we didn't need our women going off to those situations, fighting those wars that you know, wasn't had, nothing theirs. To, had nothing to do with us. We were good. <laughs> exactly. But the thing about it, though, what a lot of, you know, Black men fail to realize we've been fighting to keep our men in our household forever since slavery. Absolutely. Then when you had Jim Crow come along, our men were taken and lynched. Yeah. Over lives of white women. Yeah. So now in 2020, we're fighting them again because now they're trying to get into bed with the oppressor's woman. And we need them in our household. And, and I hate to really say this, but I'm going to say it. I'm going to be real. And this society, they'd rather see a black man gay mm. or with a white woman than to see him procreating with a black woman. And you got to think that of how many different agendas take us away from the black uh, agenda. You know, yes. we have, um, of course, the LGBTQ agenda. Then the we prison the, industrial the system. The prison industrial system. We have the, uh, what's the other one? Um, oh, what was the other one you mentioned earlier? The feminist? The feminist party. Yeah. So those are three different things right there off the bat that keeps our men away from what we're supposed to be doing. But do you notice how they keep recycling death to us? Mm -hmm. And let's Absolutely. just go down the list. And I really don't give a fuck who gets offended. If you're mad. Swear jar. I'm sorry. I mm -hmm. don't give a fuck. I just have to put that out there. Two quarters. It gets me mad when I hear people in our community trying to support the very thing that's destroying us. And I'm oh. gonna ask the real question. Mm -hmm. I don't wanna hear love is love, but what are we getting that is productive from two men coming together? When both of them die, what is left? And all we're really saying is we want the black agenda to be first. Yes, Do you are black yeah. first. Be black first. When you get Do pulled what over, you want. right? When you get pulled over, they're gonna ask you, "Hey, <laughs> they, they ain't gonna ask you if you're gay. They're not gonna ask if you're a Catholic, Christian, Muslim. All they're gonna ask is exactly. Give me your license and, and let me pop that skin. That's, that, that's about exactly. It. Or they're gonna shoot you. <laughs> that's well, it. One. That's all they care about. So, but getting back to what I'm saying, it's mm -hmm. like everything that they're giving to us. They give us abortion, which is genocide. Mm -hmm. They're pushing homosexuality, which is genocide. They're pushing all these things on our community and tell us to accept this. And they're trying to say that that is the new black. Right. But they don't want us to grow and flourish. Also, our population used to be at 26%. In 2020, our population have dwindled down to like 13%. That is true. So if that's the case, how can they really turn around and say that we commit the most crimes and the most murders if our population is only 13% in this country that's mostly European as of right now? And are we at the time limit? Is that our time? That's about our time. Sorry. So thank you. No, you're good. You're good. And uh, that's that's a it's a it's a tough topic, and maybe we'll cover more on that later because there's yeah. a lot of different layers to that. So we got a little bit of uh, fun for you after this. So um, great segue. You're gonna see some of us take this beautiful challenge here at the Panther Pad. Yes, uh, Yeah, we like to have a little fun sometimes. So. <laughs> I'm excited. Right. Let's get it. We're gonna, We're gonna have, have more fun challenges coming up very yeah. soon. Stay tuned. Yeah. All right.
All right, we are going to try something fun today. All right, the original Black Panthers of VA. You know, I know people see us always serious all the time, so we'll have a little fun today. We are going to actually try the one chip challenge. All right, they say uh, the Reaper shows no mercy. But look at the hand. It's like burning on fire. He it says it's on fire. It hurts like hell, it it's says. Burning. And what, what did you see when you looked it up? Um, uh, when I looked it up, oh, um, when I saw some people do it, people were basically coming out of their clothes. People couldn't talk. I mean, it might get pretty, pretty crazy. And it's just like just one big chip. Did you just want to open up and see what it looks like? I don't know. But uh, I mean, you think people are overreacting? Yeah. I don't think so. I don't think they're overreacting. Did that what you think? What, what kind of what, what kind of thing is this? Hey, God, girl. I'm, a, I'm a little intimidated over here. It's in a <laughs> casket. Like the chip is in a casket. Box. Right. It's got a skull on the joint. Skeleton hand hey, on the back. Oh, that's it. That's the chip. So you gotta eat the whole chip. The whole chip. Yeah. yeah, come on now. Of course, you gotta eat all the chip. Also, does this too? You get a free poster. Oh, you get a poster with it. That's if you do it right, oh, okay. because then you're a champion. It's like I lie. So. No, yeah, on the back right here. <laughs> I'm a liar. So no. So it says, how long can you last before throwing in the towel? Eat or drink any? All right, eat, eating or drinking anything. All right, so. Yeah, if your featherweight is five minutes, your middleweight is 30 minutes, lightweight is 10 minutes, heavyweight is Ooh, one hour. Wait, 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 I don't know what hour. this is. Wait a minute. That's if you don't drink anything after a certain time? Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Okay, so we have to just make sure that we don't drink anything. So a heavyweight? So like, I mean, we're soldiers. Yeah. We're soldiers, we right? Yeah. Well, General, I'm going to look to you. You know, I look up to you, yeah, so they got, they got, I'm going to look to you. Man. Okay, let's get it. Let's, let's what get the, it back. You know? What the what did you she's got the, she's got the, she's got the panther nails. You know what I'm saying? Get it. Hey. Hey. Might have to just oh. buy this. No. All right, here we go. Tell my ancestors if I don't make it, I'll see you soon. Thank exactly. You. My insurance card is in my. <laughs> Ooh, hold on. Oh, all right. We, we all right? Don't feel, are you scared? Oh, I feel like your heart is being fast or something. Oh, these are Carolina Reapers. Yes. You know, these are hotter than ghost peppers. These are like the worst. Okay, so the chip is this, fucking. Now, this is the moment now. So you you got yours open? Black? It's a black chip? Yeah, because I, I have little black crumbs on my fingers already. Where you open yours at? Okay. Right, 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 right. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh -huh. okay so I'm a little bit afraid because it's black. So, John. <laughs> what? 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 Did she just say that? Yeah. Wait, what? You can't say that. <laughs> I'm afraid because it's black. <laughs> really? No, I'm afraid not because it's black. Well, well, at least we know how how, how <laughs> America feels. Right, right. No, I'm afraid because the, the, yeah, the one that I saw was a red one with yeah. a red one. So this is no black weird. is beautiful. I love black. Like oh, black man, everything. It's, little, it's got a lot on it. Okay, did you want to switch? It's like I'm go. shaky. Look at this, man. It's the only thing that came my out. Nose burns. Thank God, you know. And we so, have. Yeah. Oh my God, I can smell it harsh. And we have our milk with us too. It's not gonna be that bad, right? Mm -hmm. I, I've well, had these before. General, just yeah, so you know, yeah. You lead us in. I, I, I've literally had a. Oh, these smell horrible. Yeah, a, a toothpick just touching inside of the mm -hmm. cool. blended pepper. Mm -hmm. It literally lights your whole mouth on fire. So, and that's just okay. on a toothpick tip. So, okay. Well, General, I'm gonna let you do the honors, General. Well, we ain't going at the same time. No, we going no. at the same time. We yeah. definitely oh, yeah, we going, going at the same, same time. time. Okay, uh, so just count us down. Panther General. trust everybody Panther at the same trust. time. Integrity. Well, hold on, hold on. Are we taking one, <laughs> are we taking one bite and then that's all you yeah. got? It's a big ass chip. Like, are you? Yeah, we got to go in, go in on it. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. What should we break it in half? And uh, then break just... it in half. Break it in half. No, because I mean it's a... okay. Okay, and everybody just take the whole thing. The whole chip. <laughs> I am so. I'm scared. telling you, it's gonna be two bites. What? It is hard to break. So are we gonna take two bites? Are we taking two bites? She didn't broke hers already. Well, right. Well, now everybody's afraid to the <laughs> And we cannot touch our face. Remember that. This, 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 this
Well, it's okay. okay. <laughs> I am so afraid. Oh my gosh. Oh, so, right. Well, fellas, y'all can go ahead. The ladies for what? <laughs> yeah. Like, okay. Ladies first. Gentle kings. Hmm? Your majesties. Ooh. All right. King John, why don't you do the honor? Yeah, Just right. count this That's down. Right. Count this yes. down. On three? Yes. No count down from three. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're going to go three, two, one. There you go. Okay. <laughs> so we're doing it on one, not after, right? <laughs> Right? So <laughs> you ready? Oh, man. What's the on one? Heavily no, well, hold on, on after one. After one. After one. Three, we two, one. Shove it in, boom. boom. And then we go right to the other one? Oh, I didn't think that far ahead. Um, and yeah. then we go to the middle. So I call out to you now, boy. Hold on. Uh, so after we shove the first piece in, we go to the other one? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because yes. right. we have to do the whole thing. All right. Okay. <clears throat> two, two, yeah. Three. I'm going to just do this shit. <laughs> I ain't doing that. I ain't two. taking this like a bite. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ashley doing it. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Ashley doing it like that. Fuck so maybe it. we yeah, should do it like that. this. Fuck that. Oh, I'm going to just do it at you the same time. Huh? Yes, fuck. Let's do the whole fucking thing. My stomach yes. already hurt right Let's now. Just I know, right? Over with. Oh, God. Okay. I'm waiting for the guys to leave because they're braver than me. Is that what's going on? You just said you want to do the whole thing. Yeah, let's do this. All right. Okay. Whew, okay. Hey, I'm Jay. I'm Nation. Yeah. We're here chilling here in the Panther Pad. But we're about to do this hot chip challenge. See some of our family members doing it, so now we're about to take the challenge, see what we can get from it ourselves. Oh, okay, so Carolina Reaper. Inside is one extremely hot tortilla chip. At least that's what they say. Uh, I believe it. Pretty nice decorated pack, though, I'll tell you that much. Well, yeah, this shit looks legit. I'm nervous. Uh, uh, Panther up. Ready? Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> 
This is some bullshit. It only pretends to help like half a second. And it burns again. Yeah. Everything burns. <laughs> Sniff up your nose because let it go and spark out. So, you know what punishment should be? Like, they should crush this up and put this on somebody's Johnson for like committing sex crimes. That would burn the hell out of it. We're, we're definitely doing anything. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 To do the chip challenge. I also nominate James. James, yeah. <laughs> James. All right, so that was what was that thing It was the pot coffee. It's a spicy meat, come on. <laughs> the coffee one chip no. challenge. Yeah, the one chip challenge, all right? The one chip challenge, we just did it. Um, and yeah, signing off. And we'll see you next time on the Panther. Bad. Bad podcast. Podcast. <laughs> 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 <laughs>